MTD CNC are at Middlesex Aerospace in Basingstoke and I'm joined by Lawrence to find out what it means to be a smart factory of the future. But before we get to that, can you tell me about your history and heritage? Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Lawrence Folds, I'm the Managing Director of uh, Middlesex Aerospace. Uh, the business was founded by my father in 1945. Um, and for many years we were concentrated on making things like jigs and fixtures, we had some products and machine tools and other, other areas. But pretty much since about 1990 onwards we've effectively been in aerospace. Uh, and aerospace is, is an evolving market, particularly in this corner of South East England, which not many people realise, um, is really uh, has a very large satellite industry as well as in terms of both construction of satellites themselves and also products that monitor satellites and talk to satellites whilst they're in space. It's really quite an exciting and very fast growing sector of the economy and we're proud to be part of it. It's brilliant to be here today and to, to look at some of the components that you make and some of the components are extremely complicated. Did you see a downturn during Covid? Uh, we certainly did. Um, quite frankly, uh, being blunt about it, our sales declined by about a third. Um, having said that, but during Covid, in the two years, we actually made a small profit, which, uh, quite frankly, given the degree of decline in volume, I thought was, was a result. Um, but no, it was a great, it was a terrible time for all concerned for all sorts of reasons. Um, and yeah, I'm pleased that it's, that it's slowly moving behind us. Um, what we can see now is that there's been a recovery in uh, short haul flying uh, to a large extent. Uh, and what is yet still to come, of course, is much more the long haul flying. Now, I was in London last week and pleased to see that there were plenty of Americans there, which is good. Um, and but it's, we have yet to see more, more visitors come from the Far East and that's still probably largely the result of the quarantine rules and all the rest of it that are present in China and elsewhere, elsewhere in Asia which makes travel from there very difficult. Well I want to kind of touch upon now the evolution within your business. I was speaking to one of your colleagues earlier that took me through the, the, the manual section of your business where all of your apprentices train. Yep. Um, but I'm also, we're here today on behalf of Hexagon and I want to learn about some of the technology that you've invested in. So can you talk us through the evolution? Well, we still, I still am firmly of the opinion that um, uh, apprentices learn much more from doing a milling or turning operation on a conventional machine rather than just going to an NC machine and pressing a button. Uh, you've got to understand and get a feel of the machine before you can actually start working on anything else. So I feel still very keen on, on, on that, sort of, that sort of activity. As I, I say, I, you know, that's, that's what I did myself. Um, but no, I think that what has changed a lot now is that there's much more focus on data and integration. I mean, that there's, I just finished a meeting recently where we're talking about our immediate sales for the next few months. That's very much focus on, you know, we've got uh, portions of X which are clear and these are the bits that are at risk and we've got you know, X percent of the output is at risk. And so we can focus in on that. And that's really is that, that, that factory of the future where all of this technology talks to, to everybody else. So we have this machine here, which will be talking to our planning systems and scheduling systems and talking to the, to the operator who's writing the program for it uh, and communicating data about the quality of the product uh, to us, uh, to, to the whole business. And it's very important to have that as an integrated, uh, really, factory of the future that really is talking to everybody. There's a misconception in some circumstances within our industry that metrology um, can be a cost and that doesn't actually make money. Is, is this true? Uh, I don't regard it as a cost. It's like other things in, things in the business, the only thing that really are, that, that, that is it, waste is the biggest cost. By using metrology well, uh, you can actually improve the quality of the product uh, that you're making in the future and consequently waste becomes less of a, less of a concern. Uh, and so, so therefore, in that way, in that, in that way um, metrology can indeed, if used sensibly, save you money. Absolutely. And, and in regards to the connectivity with the metrology and the hexagon production software, this is also um, saving um, time, saving cycle times, product improving productivity and efficiency. Is, is that correct? Yes, that's absolutely true. But it enables us to, to be able to look at how, how, we, how the programmes work more efficiently. And it also, as I say, enables us to communicate throughout our entire production systems, which really um, have ceased become a series of, of 
systems in silos, as it were. It's, it's much more integrated across the, uh, across the whole of the business uh, and providing data to all sorts of things, which is great. And ultimately, you're, you're automating, you're running 24-7. Um, yep. and, and to do that with aerospace parts that may be lower volume um, but repeat monthly is, is, is also potentially a challenge. Well, in fact, we concentrate most of our um, unmanned production on relatively high, high, high um, volume jobs on, that tend to be on single aisle aircraft. Um, but yes, it's perfectly possible with the technology we've got to produce uh, lower volume items also on, um, on, in an unmanned format. And some of these parts can indeed be extremely difficult. And Lawrence, finally, what's next? What's the future hold for Middlesex Aerospace? Continual investment um, in getting our output per man. I mean, in order to remain world class, we have to continue to get, get a, keep ahead of the game so we're producing top quality components um, at the best possible world price. And to do that, we need the best investment in men, women, girls, boys, um, apprentices, and all of our staff. And, and partnerships and, and collaborations. Partnerships, with, partnerships with, our, with our customers, some of whom we've been doing business with for well over 50 to 60 years. Partnerships with suppliers in, all across our board, um, from people like Hexagon to other suppliers who make surface treatments, raw materials, and all sorts of things that make this industry possible.